Hello everyone, and welcome to an episode of Reading Blank Until It Gets Bad. Today we're reading My Hero Academia Vigilantes Until It Gets Bad. Woo! I picked this last week uh, for some reason. Uh, becomes right. your favorite manga of Can all time. I kick it off with the usual, what's your history with the My Hero series? Uh, well, you know, it's just, I, I knew that it was Sky High for Babies. And so far, I'm correct on that one. They don't even have the school in this one. There's no sky. There's yeah, no but high. that's what I knew about the normal My Hero Academia is Sky High for Babies. Yeah. Bruce Campbell doesn't show up. That is disappointing. Yeah. Unfortunately. Uh, who would Bruce Campbell play in the live action My Hero Academia movie? All Might. Alright, yeah. For sure, yeah. For I sure. can see it just by staring at him staring into my soul right now. Yep, his black eyes. Mm hmm. Oh my, like Tom Holland would definitely be uh, Deku. Deku nut. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 100%. There will be a live action. Yeah, and yeah. Of Tom course. Holland. I'm surprised there hasn't been a live action Naruto thing both in um, Japan and in yeah. America. Tom right? Holland as Naruto. You're welcome, Hollywood. He's not even He's not even blonde. <laughs> yeah. Not, he's, he's, blonde he's, he's not even Asian. You, you, I you, guess. You can't, your point? He'll be the only white actor in the movie, just like in Ghost the Machine. Ghost in Machine. <laughs> Good. Anyways, my history in my hero academia is... Uh, your favorite. I, people said it was good, and I watched it, and I said, yeah, this is pretty good. And then the second season was very good, and then it's kind of... Thir third season was kind of going down from there, and I was, like, just kind of lost interest. Haven't watched the fourth season. I think the fifth season even aired, or is airing. Oops. I don't fucking know. I'm way behind, and don't really have a huge interest to catch up. So just kind of lost interest. I feel like it kind of blew its load early, but who the fuck knows? <laughs> Anyways, My Hero Academia Vigilantes is a side story thing. Hasn't been put to anime yet. Written, I think supervised by the author, but written by Someone written else. and drawn by some other fucker. Uh, the art looks okay. It's fine. It's, it's fine. It's serviceable. Nothing amazing. Nothing great. The fights, yeah. I can actually tell what's happening. That's always a plus. Yep. I think just in general, though, manga has gotten better at... I don't know, just early shonen shit, because it was, like, Bleach and Naruto and a bunch of other shit like that. Like, I can't tell what the fuck's happening in the fights. But, yeah. Well, I don't know. Dragon Ball, I usually don't have a problem. I don't fucking know. It just kind of depends on the yeah. artist. I'm talking out of my ass. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, what'd you, what'd you think of these first ten chapters? Uh, I started off thinking, like, this is really bad, and then by the end, I'm like, this is fine, I guess. Yeah, I picked it out expecting it to be trashy. You know how many fucking My Hero Academia spinoffs there are? No, I don't actually. Yeah, you do. Just from the you, Shonen Jump. Yeah, I go. To, I go to the manga. I read, and that's it. Oh, I tune it out. Well, I thought you brought it up the other day to something to Devin. Like, hey Devin, how do you feel about how many My Hero Academia spinoffs there Maybe, are? I don't remember. I have a bad memory. Yeah. Well, you do. But there, there's a fuck ton. So I was like, yeah, this is going to be bad on my anime list. Most people say it's worse than the original. I think it's better than the original. That's my hot take. You haven't seen the original, but I think I agree. Because, <laughs> um, yeah. It's it's okay, yeah. I, I picked it just because I figured it'd be trashy and bad, and we'd just be done with it after ten chapters, which uh, I think we might be anyways. But it still was like, okay. Definitely better than Bleach. Way, yeah. I think way better than Bleach, honestly. Yeah. Like I kind of, I probably would have gave it like I gave Bleach a three. I'd probably start off at like about three point five four, a little better. When mm -hmm. I first started, by the end it's like it's a solid five. Yeah, it's okay. Um, but anyway, so yeah, this first chapter, well, or half gonna... chapter. Yeah, chapter point five. Very important. I don't even know. I'm assuming this wasn't part of the thing. I'm sure this was like just a little thing at the end of a regular My Hero. Yeah chapter just explaining what vigilantes are for stupid people like me it's pretty self-explanatory you see our three main characters knuckle oh uh, knuckle duster i'm gonna actually well i'll get into why i'm canceling every character later that's that's at the okay. end we got pop step this is the girl who shows her ass all the time mm -hmm. she's the waifu babe and we got at the time he's introduced we got nice guy way better than his uh, other name that's for sure yeah, yeah unironically nice guy is so much better I I was really hoping you would keep Nice Guy. You should. What, what, it's whatever. way better than The Crawler. Well, then they won't have the joke of The Crawler. I've never fucking heard of A Crawler in my life. Yes, have you but heard Nice of... Guy is way funnier. The fuck is A Crawler? Oh, okay. Um, so right off the bat, I'm cringing. Uh, just at the whole... 
everyone we've seen here are criminals, and it's like, and Nice Guy's like, what? Even me? It's, even though he's literally just fucking helping people pick up their shit. By the way, I didn't understand what his quirk was in this first chapter. I thought he, like, could just sense shit, like, because he touches the ground, and I thought he could, like, sense when people drop shit and, like, you know, need help or whatever. No, but that'd be a more youthful power. Because that's all he does, but no, I guess he's sliding around. It's not really I do, I do like his power and just how awful it is. I like his power. It's pretty cool. It's I, objectively it's shit. It's pretty neat. It's better than some other shit. Um, but yeah, right away I was cringing at just the fact that they're like, yeah, these guys are bad. Hello, police. Gotta turn this guy in because he's using his powers to help people, but he's not, like, licensed to do it. Yeah, they must Very be in the cringe. UK. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But, here's the thing about My Hero Academia, okay? The best part of My Hero Academia, when it's at its absolute best, is when it's, like, talking about its superhero society thing that it's built. I think that's super interesting. I like it way better than, like, One Punch Man's shitty A to S rank hero shit, where they're all ranked by number or whatever. My Hero Academia is pretty cool when it's, like, I don't give a fuck about most of the characters and their internal struggles and shit like that and trying to graduate from school to be a hero like whatever it's cool when it's like talking about just like hey 90 percent or whatever of the world has superpowers how are we how are we going to regulate that how how does that work how do people fit into that and so that stuff's kind of cool i don't know if you agreed with me like I'll, i'll talk a little bit later about it but um that's when it's at its best and some it this does a little bit of that and i think that's cool but then it also does a little bit of other shitty shit i don't give a fuck about all right moving on yes uh chapter one Perfect. it literally just explained yeah it's kind of the exact same about vigilantes hero. again oh yeah oh dude the show yeah, no, uh, podcast don't listen to the show and jump podcast listen to our podcast listen it's to way us better. we're way do, fucking do better. not we... go to show and jump.com listen to the weekly show and jump podcast listen to our podcast on youtube.com slash our seizure <laughs> See, I would be like, who the fuck would actually listen to the Show and Jump podcast? Like, I'm sure their hosts are nobodies that nobody knows. Like, they might be voice actors or something, but like, no, they're nobody. I was like, do who, how many people actually listen to this and stuff? But um, I can't talk because I fucking listen to the Nintendo Power podcast. Oh, we can't is, talk because we have a shitty anime podcast, a shitty manga podcast. Well, yeah, of course, of course, we can't talk because that. But we do the we do it just for us, mostly, just for the just for, just for our boy Devin it. Kavanaugh. I know you're out there, we're Big doing, D. We're not doing this for money, but yeah, I listen yeah. to the fucking Nintendo Power, which is literally just people who work at Nintendo who nobody knows, but they just talk about games and shit. And I listen to it for some reason. Anyways, we get a flash forward. He's falling. Oh no, uh, this giant guy. He's a big guy. Flash back. Uh, yeah. Oh, All Might shows up. All Might shows up. All Might's uh, What's cool, All Might? Dude. Tell me all about All Might. All Might is the number one hero. They have different, like, I don't know, he just, like, solves the most crimes, I guess. I don't know. But basically, he's, like, a fake, kind of, sort of. Like, his power is fucking, he's actually, like, a weak Yu-Gi-Oh looking guy, usually. But he, like, buffs up for the camera. The and he, like, uses strength. Yeah, kind of. And, uh, in My Hero Academia, the base story, he... He rips off a piece of his hair and feeds it to Deku, and that's how he gives Deku his powers, because Deku is one of the people born without a quirk. What a fucking gets, idiot. Like, bully for it. Yeah, but, I would uh, bully him too. Fucking, I'd probably pro- have superpowers in this universe, because <laughs> everyone has superpowers. I'd fucking curb, yeah. I'd curb stomp that kid. Fuck him. Oh yeah, did you, ca- did you catch on, because it doesn't really explain it here, that quirks are their superpowers? That's yeah. what they call it? Yeah, I, fi- okay. I, I knew that before coming in. That's like one of the few things Oh, okay, I yeah. I figured it was self-explanatory, but on the other hand, I was thinking like... I if Come on, I have three wrinkles fun. in my brain, alright? I know what I'm doing. I don't I read guess. or watch my hair academia for fun, so I know what I'm doing. That's true, only for business. <laughs> Maybe. But, but yeah, most most people can't pass on their powers, but he can, because he like slowly loses his power and has to pass it on someone. I don't fucking know, who gives a shit? Uh, he basically just punches some guys, and our main guy, Koichi... Guanglai uh, himself. Koichi Guanglai himself... Uh, he's just kind of the everyman. He's okay. He's a simp. He's not super interesting. He has some interesting stuff going on later that I thought was alright, but for the most part, he's just kind of a whatever. I like his power. His power is, like, stupid, but it's cool. It's Um, useless. He just, he just, he literally moves as fast as a bike, he says. Yeah. Like, he can move fast. That, okay, jumping forward a little bit here, but he can move faster, but he doesn't want to because he doesn't want to, like, crash or whatever. He can't How fuck. the fuck did he live, like, 19 years of his life or whatever without ever thinking 
hmm, if I suddenly switch to the other direction, I'll slow down and come to a stop faster. He, like, he's he had a to show and protagonist. That. He's no smart. He, I guess, but he had to get taught that by this other guy when he was 19, when he was already an adult. That he, and he had powers for his entire life, I'm assuming. Stupid. I don't know if they come in at puberty or whatnot, but I don't know when your powers show up. Hmm. Yeah, I I can't remember. They think they explain that, but whatever. Um, they run into some classic Yakuza enemies. You bump into them, and they're like, "Well, you made me spill my drink. How are you gonna compensate?" That's gonna be me, ten million yen, buddy. That's gonna be ten million yen. Ten million. That's outrageous. Hmm. <laughs> I but think he these guys are up to no good. <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna have to teach you a lesson with my fists. Burp, um, burp, 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 burp. Very cool. Yeah. He... Uh, Pop Step appears. She's how fucking old is Pop Step? Uh, I think the same age as Koichi, so at least above. No, where I was later. Remember? I thought so they were around like, the same. I'm going. I'm I'm going to the wiki page right now. I don't think the wiki page says. Oh, uh, her, birth- really her birthday is May twenty eighth. Oh shit, that's coming up, dude. We gotta wish her <laughs> a happy birthday on on, my they Twitter, don't... on my Twitter dot com. So she could. It's a gamble. She could be of age. She could be not. Yeah. Do you want to risk it? But, uh, no, later, because Koichi's 19, later we see that fla- that flashback where he helped her when she was a little kid, and he thought it was, she was a little boy. I assume that they were still around the same age. Give or take he was in middle years. school, so that's, what, 13? So she must have been, like, 7, 6 or 7 at most? Yikes. I don't know. There's just some Yikes. weird shit going on there Never with the age difference. Kind of cr- cringe right there. Yikes. I don't know. She still is. Yeah, she does not still, have an official age. Yeah, she's still pretty hot, though. I'm not gonna. Mm. I'm not gonna deny. She's mm. all right. Yikes. I'm an ass man. It's okay. Um, it's the defining character right there. She puts on shows that she jumps. Uh, that she jumps around and people like it just because they can see her ass and people like um like knock off Jotaro and knock off Yoki Yasu go to their go to her shows and are big fans of her. Her uh, power is also kind of shit just because she jumps. What's up with that? Why is Jotaro... <laughs> Why is Jotaro in, like, a little short middle school Jotaro in this? <laughs> Why'd they do that? They have his ripped hat and everything. I don't know. I'm not... And, like, I thought it was going to be, like, just a one-off gag to, like, oh, these are, like... Because they're, you know, it's, like, a joke. Like, oh, these tough guys, but then you find out they're middle schoolers. But, no, they just keep them around. Yeah, they're, they're, they're good. They're good guys. They're like, hey, Jotaro is, like, the most... One of the most famous character designs. Let's That's just... Own. Let's just use that. <laughs> and then there's uh, Cyclops Josuke slash Okiyasu. Very cool. Whatever. I'm jumping all around at this yeah, point. Yeah, uh, popped shit. up. She, she has an ass. She gets, like, almost killed and raped, and then they... Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, no, that was yikes for Koichi right there. And they try to, like... They try to, like, redeem this guy later, I think. Yeah. She literally says, like, oh, it's the rape and murder guy. But I think they, like, try to save him later and think, like, oh, he's okay. And Koichi just almost better get raped. Yeah, he did. He thought about it for half a second, like, I could. I could, yeah. And that nice guy almost turned into not nice mm-hmm. guy. But then uh, Knuckle Duster jumps down. Uh, Knuckle Duster's based, he I is, like him. He's the best character cool. in the My Hero Academia he's... franchise. Probably, honestly, other than maybe All Might. But yeah, he's cool. Mm-hmm. I just like that he doesn't have a power. He still obviously has, like, ridiculously yeah, he, unrealistic... His, his, po- his power is steroids. Yeah, he has, like, unrealistically... Superhero with strength, but it is cool, and he just doesn't have a power. He just yeah. fucking like lands in garbage and punt beats the shit out of yeah, people. I do like him. That's cool. He's objectively the best uh, character. What else? He just kind of is like, "You're my son now," and uh, Koichi's like, "Okay, Dad. Okay, Master. Sure." And then we learn that people are you actually using steroids to get stronger people powers. People are using drugs. This is an anti-drug manga. I don't know. I would use I would use the drug to get my superpowers stronger. I, I'd use whatever the, the fuck. So it far, well, I don't think like any like that bad of side effects, really. Trigger, yeah. Well, there's a great moment later. I'll talk. I'll bring it up. Uh, what What do they do? They just go around. Oh, they. Yeah. Oh yeah, this one retarded part that I brought up before. Eraser head. He's one of the characters in My Hero. He uh, is like gonna arrest uh, Knuckle Duster for like almost beating the shit out of a random guy. But then he's like, oh, wait, never mind. You don't have powers. It's okay. Yeah, no. That, Sorry. That, be- that beating was completely justified. You had the legal right. 
Yeah, no, you're in the legal right. You're not wearing... <laughs> and he also fights back against him. So it's basically the equivalent of a cop, like, stopping you on the street when you're about to kick the shit out of someone. But then being like, oh, you weren't gonna you weren't gonna stab him? You don't have a knife on you? You don't have a gun? You weren't gonna shoot him? Okay. Yeah, no, that's all right. As, even though you, like, fought the cop, like, while he was arguing with yeah. you, you were kind of, like, taking swings at him. The cop's just like, oh, no, 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 it's, a, it's okay. You don't have any weapons on you. Yeah. It's all right. <laughs> very stupid. Very retarded. Yeah. Um... But whatever, the writing is not always the best. The show and stuff, you can't expect everything to be good. Mm-hmm. Uh, they fight, they fight, yeah. he stops some big guy. Oh, they fight, the fights are okay, I can at least tell yeah. what's going on, that's cool. Koichi saves the day. Koichi, Koichi saves, saves the day by definitely sliding the, up. Alright, let's be real, Pop, Step, and Koichi are definitely getting together at one point. They are, and that's just, it's just weird, because she was so fucking, she was like, Six. They're definitely like, gonna bone down at some point if they have it already. Six. He's like thirteen. Obviously, when they're both adults, that that age, much age difference doesn't really matter. But like right now, it's kind of weird. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not gonna question it. It's fucking. It's anime manga. Talk about heroes. I'm on chapter three now, right here. Oh yeah, we see Luffy with a mustache. Yeah. Very cool. Um, he's made a rubber. You know that. He's made a rubber. How, dude, how did that happen? Yo, yo, yo! We think I'm made of gum gum. Whoa. Um, there's a BDSM hero. I don't know if you that's pretty, noticed that. That's pretty She's in the middle hot. of this page here. Yep. God, she could probably fuck me I think she fucking... On. Spoilers. I think she fucking dies in My Hero Academia. Based. Like, I think My Hero gets criticized for... There's, like, multiple times when, like, heroes should die to make a big impact, but they don't want to kill off their characters, so they just get, like, very injured. And they're like, oh, I don't know if I'll be able to fight again. And people shit on it for that, but I think they just, like, fucking straight up kill her Good. later. I got that spoiled. Very cool. Josuke and Okiyasu get in a fight. The Crawler. Oh, yeah, he changed his name to The Crawler. Nope, he's nice fucking guy. biking equipment. Yeah, you gotta respect the nice guy. He wears a mask, which is nice, but he always pulls it down, like, constantly. Yeah, like, come every on. other panel. Come but on. He can't, keep his, he can't keep his mask on. It's not that hard. It's not that hard, dude. Come on. I wear eight hours a day in a hot kitchen. Wear a mask, fucking nice guy. Mm hmm. Then Doomsday appears and. Or kills. They fight. Kill Superman. They fight him, they find out he's using drugs. Cyclops and Okiyasu, oh. Jotaro, just hang out. They're just watching. They're vibing. Knuckle Duster and the Crawler. Very cool. Oh, oh yeah, well, how did you feel? Were, were you thrown off by the sudden cat? I, yeah, I was. The principal at the school in My Hero Academia is a mouse, and it's Devin's favorite character. Oh, I don't... just a white mouse. Yeah. It'll turn up. I honestly can't remember if it's just, it's a human that has a quirk that turns him into, like, part animal, or if it's, I think there's, like, rare cases in the My Hero universe where animals get quirks that make them, like, human. Nice. So I think, yeah, this is just a cat. I yeah, just, like just imagine wake, just imagine waking up one day in puberty and you're suddenly a cat and you're like, yeah, oh yeah, that's your power, it finally manifested. Yeah, okay, yeah. Furry. that's it. That's it. Oh, right. I like uh, fake Twitter. Fake Twitter where two people use it? Yep. Yeah. Just two people <laughs> talking about the crawler. Yep. We had Fist Camp Ramp. We had Fist Camp has a good name, though. Mm hmm. Uh, they just kind of move into his house. Yeah, they just kind of break and enter, you know, and he's. Break and enter. He's got a pretty cool place. Yeah. Okay, I did like I did like this part. Most of the character shit I don't care about in this story, but, um. Or like this part about how his, like. His backstory is like he really wanted to, like, have a good. Uh, campus life, like a college life, Yikes. and invite friends over, but then he, like, lived in a shitty fucking abandoned building, so everyone immediately just assumed he was, like, a rapist, and I don't blame hated him. him. Look and at he's him. like, oh, man. And then he realizes, like, oh, man, this sure is, it sure is lonely living alone and not having any friends that come over, and then, like, he acts like he's annoyed by them invading his house, but he's actually pretty cool with it, because he's finally has people over. I thought that was fine. That's a little character moment yeah. that made me, like... It's relatable. Koichi a little bit. Is it relatable? No. They come over all the time. Don't. Yeah, I hate it. Put some fucking posters up in your make house. Make me. Yeah, so maybe get me some My Hero Academia Vigil Vigilante poster and I will. It won't be It won't be so dis 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 depressing. I want it to be depressing because it's exactly what I do. I work and read longer. That's it. That's all I do. Pop Step does a show. Some weird fucking guys there on Attack drugs. Attacked by Sharknado. Snake. Tries to rape her. A lot of rape going on. Yeah, that's kind of yikes. Is that a lot of rape in the main story? 
Does Deku get and raped? Main my hero? No, just a lot of. But if that thing is directed, would Deku get raped canceled. in prison? Oh yeah. Do we want to talk about why it, why everyone was canceled from? No, Dr. that's Wolf? not the end. That's you know. Okay. You have to get to the end of My Hero Academia. Okay. 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 Yeah. Um. Uh, they find out people are giving out drugs just for free. Isn't that something? God, if only, um, if only it was like that in real life. Yep. Distributed by B is a B user, an enemy B user. Because mm-hmm. uh, we get introduced to some lesbian with an eye patch, mm-hmm. uh, who keeps bees in her eye, and the bees have the drug, and they just kind of sting people. And that's what's okay. So that's like that was a great moment that I they haven't elaborated on yet, and I don't know if they will, and they'll be stupid if they don't, because I think that'd be really cool. That was so fu- it was so fucking awesome when just a bunch of normal people get the drug and start freaking out. And just the villains just immediately show up and kick the shit out of them. And just, like, you know, they think they're villains, but they're just normal people. And they just fucking, like, beat them, like, half to death. And I was like, oh, oh, fuck. And I was like, there's gonna be, like, this is gonna be a whole thing. But no, they haven't really... Nothing's really come of it. Maybe it will later. Nothing so far. Oh, don't worry. We're gonna get another spin-off of My Hero Academia Civil War. Civil War, yep. For sure. Oh yeah, we gotta keep our powers in check. Well, this is a prequel, and we'll get to that later. But um, yeah, I just like that. I liked how everyone just showed up and kicked the shit out of a bunch of innocents with no uh, no repercussions. And by chapter six, when I started saying like, you know what, this is not that bad. Oh yeah, when the uh, when the three guys yeah. uh, who slide and glide and steal girls' panties, mm-hmm. yeah, very very high quality. <laughs> but I'm like, you know what, I can get behind this. You know, like I like this. I like this. That's this literally cool. me. This is why that's funny you say that because this is when I thought it started to get. <laughs> I, I, it was like around this time. I can't remember exactly, but it was like by I think six or seven. I'm like, so I was like, this isn't that bad. Maybe it was seven. I can't remember. I read this like like four days ago. It was. It's okay. Uh, actually, no. It was chapter six when I saw it because that's when the chapter started, started getting short. Yeah, that's yeah, literally yeah. Once the chapter started getting short, I was like, oh yeah, this ain't so bad. Um, I like, I, I like well, when the golden trip just beat up Koichi. When he beat him up, oh yeah, yeah. that was pretty cool. Oh, but Knuckle Duster, he see he 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 um only beats people almost to death. He could mm-hmm. kill people, but he doesn't. He, he's such he's a nice got guy. Some control. Yep, he's such a nice guy. He should be a nice guy. Mm-hmm. Um, he um like was like depressed for a little while, I think. And it's just the standard shonen thing of like just like my like my, uh One Punch Man. He's just depressed that he's been fighting weaker people. Once he fights someone who is like you know. At his level of, like, oh, finally, a real challenge that he's, like, not depressed anymore. Cool. Yeah. Whatever. Okay. It's fine. I guess. Whatever. Mm-hmm. They fight some drug addict who's also roided up. Yeah. Every villain they fought so far is pretty much just a big guy. For you. Just a big guy, and they just kind of punch each other, and it's fine. Yeah. But it's whatever. It's whatever. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Yeah, then chapter 7 is when they really started getting good, because, you know, we, we, no, chapter 8 was when the chapter got short, but... Yeah. But so yeah. chapter 7, this guy, this this Ignemium... Yeah. Ig- how the fuck uh, do you say that name? Robot boy. Ignemium? He's not actually a robot, he's a guy in a... Mexican he's the guy in a... Well, big. yeah, you saw him. Yeah. Um, so he is... This is a prequel, because he's the older brother of un- one of the main characters in My Hero, who's voiced by Mr. Steinsgate in the dub, uh... What the fuck? What J. J. Jonah James. J. Jonah James. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Um, and I think I can't remember what happens before the story, like between vigilantes and that. Maybe it ha- will happen in vigilantes. But he, like, basically, he's one of those characters that just gets the shit kicked out of him and gets almost murdered and has to like retire and like pass on his costume and his name to uh, Steinscape Man because yeah. Um, but yeah, we get introduced to him. He's a jogger. Mm-hmm. He teaches Koichi how to not <laughs> slide into walls. Uh, Koichi how to use the brakes. How to use the brakes, yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty neat. Pretty mm-hmm. base. Team waits him to join his team. Yep, but then he later is like, oh wait, no. You're a, vigil- you're a criminal. We can't have you're that. You're a criminal. But he's not like mad yeah. about it. He's uh, just, oh, you're, you're, they, you're, you're he all... can fly now. Uh, good Star Wars reference. Who can fly now? I don't know. There's just one, a panel going, he can fly. And it made me think oh, he can fly. They I fly think, now. I think I think I remember that actually. Yeah. They fly now. Mm-hmm. Uh, we found out Koichi's 
fucking nerd. He's got a whole bunch of the hoodies, mm-hmm. except for one that he gave to a little kid that he saved when hmm. he was younger, and it was the girl, and she still has the hoodie. And I, I like how they just kind of introduce that like right away. They kind of like you know, yeah. Like, I felt like it, that should have been like a like two chapter thing. Yeah, it should have been like at the end of an arc or yeah, something. Yeah, like then know. reveal like that's why because like for she didn't, pops up never really had a reason to hang out with them. No, because Koichi wants to be hero. Pop stuff just like showing her ass off and being a little, little thought to everyone. You know, what? yeah, she never really had a reason to. So, uh, so I just, other, kind yeah, of... so just like being like, oh yeah, no, this is a thing that's connecting them. Just I feel like end of an uh, act arc type of thing. You know? Yeah, it was a little fast. Just you were going like, oh, he saved someone and missing, and then like the end of the chapter, like that person was me. Yeah. And then she did this shitty, stupid anime character thing of, like, she's gonna go tell him, but then, oh no, there's someone else in the room. I'm so embarrassed. I have to act like a bitch now, and... I don't like you or anything, Baka! I don't like you or anything, rough, gay, terrible. Alright. Next chapter, uh, Doomsday's back, and Punch and shit, and the crawler appears, and... Nice guy, you mean? Nice guy, call man, yeah. And then Ninja Man appears. Four Ninja Light Man Ninja. was kind of cool. What? Yeah. Four Light Ninja. Five step. Yeah, Ninja. Four Ninja. His, his brother's wife is about to bring him a sandwich. Yeah, unasked for. <laughs> uh, Ninja Man's pretty cool. Ninja he's got Man. a fucking sword. He's got a five step plan. He's um. He's the power of the blade will eradicate the crime that is your very existence. He's kind of edgy. Mm-hmm. But this is this is what yeah this is when we get into like what My Hero Academia does that's cool is um he's a like they, obviously these are other vigilante guys they're just trying to stop drugs they don't want to kill anyone they just want to get them arrested get them you know rehabilitated or whatever um, this guy just wants to fucking kill people he's like oh you're against the law whatever you're fuck fuck you you're dead you're just fucking dead now um, and there's a character in um, and my hero, his name is Stain, Hero Killer Stain, and he he's like the coolest character because he like has a whole he just has a whole like we live in a society thing going on where like yeah. he hates that heroes like he thinks everyone should just be a hero and use their powers for good, but heroes are like a capitalist business where like they get paid to help people. And he thinks anyone who gets paid to help people is a phony and needs to be fucking like killed and base. uh his shit he's pretty base, he's pretty cool. But and his uh, nemesis is tied. Is Tide? Yeah, his name is Stain. So Tide was the first oh, level. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. I, yeah. Uh, thought of. But no, here's the cool fucking thing. Uh, he is, when he's introduced to my hero, he's already hero killer Stain, and that's what he's known for doing. Um, his power in my hero is that if he licks someone's blood, they get paralyzed. I thought you were going to say he licks someone's balls. He licks someone's balls, and he says they taste good. That's his power. <laughs> um, <laughs> but no, he licks someone's blood, and they get paralyzed... Oh, Ninja Man does that too! Holy fuck! Are they the same person? They're probably the same. It hasn't been revealed yet, but I guarantee they're the same person. It's probably, uh... Big I'm twist. sure something happens here where he's like... Because right now, yeah, he's just like a justice man. He's like, I'm a vigilante, I'm a justice man. Everyone who is in justice needs to fucking die. And I'm sure over the course of this story, he's gonna become like... You know, all heroes are kind of cringe that they're getting paid to, to save people. I think I'm gonna fucking kill them too. Kind of cool. That's a, that's an interesting thing my hero does, I think. I don't know. I thought it was alright. What I thought wasn't alright is how uh, Porcupine Man comes back yeah, and try to like, redeem, redeem him. Redeem the rapist. He's like, well look, his friends are cool, yeah. And his friend's like, yeah, I won't do drugs again. But Porcupine Man's like, I will. But then he's drugs like, never cool. mind. He's like, yeah, I will. Don't get my friends involved. I'll still do drugs. But then as soon as he gets off with the drugs he's like nah i'm not gonna do drugs i'm gonna fight him by myself but then he gets injected with drugs anyways and mm-hmm. i don't know this chapter is kind of whatever yeah and then koichi um, saves him yeah and then knuckle up the show and... up and then now now there's gonna be a big boy fight no now there's gonna be a fight because knuckle duster now it's gonna get good because knuckle duster's here and he's the base to mm-hmm. man um so overall overall fine uh, yeah, it's fine. Overall, I was expecting to hate this way more than I did, but I am, a, I am, even though I haven't been interested in it for the past couple of years, I am deep down a My Hero fag, and it did 
scratch that itch, and I do kind of like it. I do like how it ties into it. Oh, yeah, I did I mention the guy, the fucking hero Marshall killer Blake. stain? Fortnite Ninja, hero killer stain, he's the one that, uh, like, almost kills, um, Igni, Miam, whatever the fuck his name is. So it's interesting that Koichi, he, he, Koichi hasn't appeared in the main series at all, as far as I know, but he, like, has now interacted with a guy, the jogger guy, he looks up to, and also the hero killer guy who eventually, like, paralyzes him. Hmm. I think that's cool. That's some cool fan service. Yeah. It does nothing for it does nothing for you, obviously. I think this is get... very fine. I'm actually sitting on the fence on this one. If you want to read another ten, I will, but I could care that. <sighs> now that the chapters are shorter, I, it's like yeah. it it's cool. But if you're fine, I'm like, literally sitting on the fence. Like this is a five out of ten. Like not something I would continue reading personally, but I'm not hating it. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I definitely will keep reading it personally, but it's kind of up to you if you want to keep going. No, oh, fuck it. Let's just go. Let's just keep going. Then, I'm curious about what your next choice was, though. Well, maybe you'll just have to wait until next week. Ah, uh, but what if I die? <laughs> fuck the fuck. No, okay. F- you know what? Fine. I wasn't expecting to. I really wasn't expecting Me to. I thought you would f- uh, fucking hate it, but it's, it's I'm, okay. Yeah, there's something on the edge. You know, the name of the show is Reading It Till It Gets Bad. It's not bad. No, it's, it's not bad. I'm sitting on the edge like it's fine. But now okay. for what everyone is waiting for, why am I going to cancel every single character? All right, the main trio. Oh, yeah. What? Oh. Yeah, go, go, all right, go, go, so go. the main main trio, easy enough. You know, they're all criminals. Oh, yeah, It's easy, but other things. Koichi buys beer. I don't know. What's a drinking age in Japan? I, I don't... Th- he, right away, vigilante, I mean, fucking knuckle duster is like, hey, what's with all this beer? You're too young yeah, to drink. Yeah, he drinks on the edge. Cancel offense. Uh, the person that sold him the beer. Cancel offense. Yeah, Koichi does. I don't think Koichi drinks, but he bought beer for his college yes, friends he would be meeting. How did he buy it? How did he buy the beer? Someone's get. Yeah, someone, I'm gonna have to cancel he, the person that sold it to him. As a person who works license. at a place that sells beer, I can get fired for that. So I'm gonna cancel him. Mm-hmm. Um, the guy that looks at Pop Step's ass, I'm gonna cancel him for looking at an ass. He's already canceled. Sorry. That's fine. Um, <laughs> we got double negative. Fucking Pop Step herself. Fucking public indecency. Don't go showing off your ass. Yep. Knuckle Duster, I mean. You can't, I, no, I like how nobody cares about that. Yeah. Um, as far as we know, she, she's not... First of all, the heroes and the cops aren't doing a very good job of trying to catch these vigilantes. No. I guess they don't care that much, even though they say they're criminals. But no one cares that she's out here doing public indecency. They only care that she's jumping really high in yeah. the street. Uh, another thing to cancel Koichi on. Koichi almost looks like you'll get raped. He yeah, just thought about, yikes. like, I could. I could just leave her. Yeah, yikes. Um, Knuckle Duster, I can't, I can't care for him anymore. That being said, I also, like... <laughs> what is that? Obviously, he was, he was in the situation and has, like, powers, granted, as shitty as they are, but he could, like, you know, help her. Um, granted, me, me, underscore IRL, uh, if I ever see, like, a crime happening, there's no fucking Oh, yeah, no, same, involved. but he, oh, he can do stuff, he has superpowers. Yeah, he's right there. Like, you know, if I see, like, if there's a crime going across the street, I'm just gonna, you know, moonwalk away. Yep. But yeah, no, I can't. Like, uh, I, like, like uh, uh, Yukari. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. No, the people that tried raping Pop Step gonna cancel them. Pretty obvious. Wait, why? Wait, why? Oh, <laughs> uh, they're trying to have sex with a, probably a minor. I know. I know. I know. That's, I'm not going for the rape, just for the probably minor bit. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, let me continue scrolling through. Michael Duster. Lucky. You can't cancel him anymore. He's pretty he, cool. He beat up. He fucking beat the shit out. Yeah, of Yeah, but him. he's cool. He's I cool. guess, yeah, you make, yeah, yeah, you know, if you're cool enough. The story when basically you make it cool enough, cool enough, it's fine. I mean, yeah, a cop doesn't do anything about it. Knuckle Duster can't be arrested. He's not cool enough. Uh, but I will cancel cool. Knuckle Duster later for breaking and entering. Uh, he yes, does do B&E, which, you know, is a serious crime. Mm-hmm. Caught B&E. <laughs> I, 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 I can excuse a fault. Breaking and entering is the way I caught draw the line. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, pretty much all the villains, because you know the villains, the one snake one for trying to rape Pop's up again, you know, minor, mm-hmm. probably. Uh, why is, uh, why is All Might cancelled? All Might? <sighs> Fucking, he's, he's blonde. True. Also, all the, you just said all the heroes are, all the villains are cancelled for being villains, but all the heroes are cancelled for being heroes. Because they, yeah. like I said, they beat the shit out of a bunch of... <laughs> That's also true. It, now, if this was the MCU... Theaters. Boy, there'd be a whole movie about them fighting about how we need more regulations, so... 
Exactly. And usually my hero, it doesn't go that deep into it. Because, you know, in the, at the end of the day, it's shown fucking... Shown trash. It, it's shown in trash. But usually, in the main My Hero series, they would actually comment on this and be like, oh, that was kind of fucked up, you know? Heroes kind of need to get in line, which is what, like, the hero killer is all about. But no, they didn't really do anything with it in this yet. Um, Jotaro, I'm going to cancel for just ripping off Jotaro. Uh, like, you see Cyclops, I, at one point he shoots a laser at a nice guy, so... Yeah, no Minecraft beacons mm-hmm. shooting in the air. Can't do that. Yeah, uh, let me continue. We got Doomsday, uh, for... Showing up in Batman vs. Superman, Donald Justice, that's a cancelable offense right there. Yeah. Um, Don't th- doesn't he know that a future porn director directed yeah. that? Yeah, and religious director at the same time. <laughs> What's the next thing director? I hope, I hope he makes for? the porn... I hope the religious and the porn video movies are what, the same movie. What if he makes God Not Said For? <sighs> anyway, it's besides porn. the point. Um, the people that don't go to Koichi's house cancelable because Koichi's a nice guy and I would hang out with him. Aw, I would. Koichi's cool. Yeah. I like him. He hasn't done anything terrible. Except that he, except he's even canceled, so I won't. I won't be caught. That except for saving a rapist and allowing a rape to occur. Yeah, almost. And you know, giving us some creepy vibes for living in an abandoned building. So yeah, fuck him. Yeah, fuck you for living in a <laughs> shitty building. In other words, Koichi, you are canceled. Um, the bee girl, I'm gonna cancel her for fucking bees are endangered species. Don't keep them in your eye. Keep them in, like, a, you know, a bee bee preserve. At first I was like, why does she have an eye patch? And I was like, oh, are they trying to do, like, an inclusion thing? But no, of course there's a reason. No, like, now, think of Barry Benson, all right? He (laughs) sued for bee rights. This is just going backwards. I'm assuming the bee movie and My Hero takes place in the same universe. I haven't been told otherwise. Mm -hmm. Now, as far as I know, Kirk's quirks could only be a Japan thing. So... Mm, I think it's the world, but maybe mm, I don't know. it doesn't say that in the manga. So, sorry. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't know. But yeah, no, pretty much. Yeah, that's that's the reason why I'm canceling everyone. So in other words, yeah, all these kids, are, all these kids are canceled. They're canceled, yeah. So sorry, my vigilantes. Hero. Vigilantes as a series though is not canceled. It's still going. A new chapter was just uploaded recently. Um. Yeah. Sure. Whatever. I'm actually. I'm quite. I figure that you didn't absolutely hate it, but I'm quite surprised that you actually are okay. Uh, with yeah, I was thinking back in the fence. Let's do it. It's they're, they're short chapters. You now. know, Let's just fucking do it. Unlike with Bleach, when we ended the middle of a fight, I just couldn't, couldn't care about what was going on. But this fight, I'm like, you know, this could be all right. Yeah, it's all right. The characters aren't shit. It's no Naruto, that's for sure. It's no Naruto. Oh yeah. Um, I don't know if we want to. Uh, Naruto minute Obviously, right now. Naruto minute. Naruto's yeah. good. Naruto's it's so very good. good. I just I like the two. You're further, good. you're further than me, but I saw that of Snake Vorism. That's pretty cool. Yep, I like the I like the chapters where they're just taking a test. Yep, I just that's what I just finished the test chapters, and that was like probably the, the, the end of the really series. Fun. And Naruto just being I, the base king and not answering any questions. Mm-hmm. You never watched Soul Eater, did you? No. It was probably it's probably bad if I go back and watch it now, but uh, I think the first episode of season two is literally just them taking a test as well and like trying to cheat and get away with cheating on it. I realize now they were probably t- ripping off Naruto because I think they came out around the same time. But um, that was like the best ep- the best episode of Soul Eater is just when they're taking a test. Or you... shenanigans ensue, and that's what happens with this one. Yeah, no, I'm, ooh, I'm ooh, enjoying I didn't even fucking... I haven't even sent it in the chat yet, but I got I got so validated. I don't know if this is actually what's happening here. I think it is. I got so validated when that one guy who looks weird from the sand village is pissing. Uh, he yeah. goes to the urinal with his scarecrow thing, and he pisses in the toilet, and he shivers. He shivers while he's pissing. Just like me. He's literally me. Um, yeah. Amanga validated the piss shiver. Um, it's not just me. Well, I was Everyone does so, it. Uh, Rock Lee, he's the base king. Oh, uh, we got! I just actually got to the first popularity contest and disappointed in the Naruto community of early two thousands. Because Rock Lee uh, was not number Sasuke? one. Is it Sasuke? No, actually, that's actually pretty basic. It wasn't Sasuke. It was, uh, I'm pulling up right now. I think it was Kakashi. Yeah, Kakashi. Okay. Yeah, he's first that's place. Right. Naruto second place. Uh, Sasuke was third place. Um, fourth place is Master Ikoro. I don't remember him. Um, what the fuck? Fifth place is... What's fifth place? I, don't, I can't see it. Oh, fifth place is Sakura. Sixth place, Rock Lee. Wait, where the fuck's Naruto? Uh, Naruto's number two. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> seventh place is 
uh, Gara, which he really done nothing at this point except like one fight. Yeah, Gara was one of my favorite characters. Yeah, with my boy Liam O'Brien. But yeah, yeah, uh, that literally might have been it. I just think I liked his, <laughs> his uh, voice or something. The it, sand power is cool. The sand village in general is interesting. Yeah, really I don't know. And it's I just cool. don't think he, as of right now, does live the seventh place because he. Yeah, he doesn't. He hasn't he done has, anything. He's done one fight. And he just whipped someone's ass. And like, At I'm this crazy. point, he's edgier than Sasuke. He doesn't yeah. even joke around. Oh, yeah, so. no. Gara and Lanith, uh, Haku, and then Zazuba, and then uh, Hinata, who I have, who I knew before because I've seen many porn of her. I like Hinata. She's cute. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen people do a cosplay porn of her for some reason. It's been... Why? I don't know. It's just kind of there on, you know, on the internet. And I see it. I'm like, On Pornhub? <laughs> no. I only go to the cool sites. Like... Uh, only foot dot, only toe dot com. Only toes dot com, yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, they mentioned the foot fetishes in Scott Dwa's video today, the 200th episode. Yeah, I, I thought, thought of, the, I thought of my boy, Hackery. I thought of our boy, yeah, he says, what's something that a foot fetishist would do or something like that, or I'm yeah. trying to branch out, I don't know. Yeah, I'm, cool. I'm, I'm thinking uh, about getting a foot fetish. I'm thinking about getting a, getting a foot fetish. Um, but anyways, fucking, yeah, no, um... Naruto's doing better than what? What did uh, like halfway or over halfway through Chainsaw Man? Denji was like what number six or something yeah. on the on the popularity. Yikes! But you know he was going fucking... up against some tough tough competition like Kobani. Makima is fucking. Imagine Makima being your favorite girl. Fucking crazy. Yeah, come on. She's not even the best girl of Chainsaw Man. She's not. No. She's probably the worst girl of Chainsaw Man. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. I like the she, car better. She kills the best <laughs> girl. But no power didn't get number one, so it was fine. Of course she did. Everyone likes power. But Kobani's card definitely deserved to be higher. Mm-hmm. Did, she, did Kobani's card beat Denji? I no, Kobani's card did beat Kobani herself, though. Oh, nice. Based. Okay, we're talking about all sorts of shit now. But yeah, Naruto's still good. Art's still good. Uh, story, getting better. I like it. More characters. Us- I, I usually can't fucking stand when... Uh, anime just throw a bunch of characters at you suddenly, but Naruto does a really good job. Yeah, because they're all kind of interesting. They're all interesting. I like them. They're all cool. I remember them all from the fighting game that I have on the Wii that we should play sometime right, when we get further. I remember it being pretty cool. Um, I still own it. Um, but yeah, uh, pretty good. There was that one weird fucking thing where Gar can like make an eyeball with sand, yeah. and then you, there's a panel. It's just a whole page where you see it from that perspective. That looked cool. That was probably the hmm. coolest page so far. Yeah, no, Pretty cool, Naruto's fucking. I cool. wasn't expecting to enjoy Naruto as much as I did. I thought it was early two thousands, uh, shonen trash, everyone baby's first anime. Yeah, I thought we would think it got kind of meh after the first arc, maybe. Or I um, think this arc is getting. Old. I thought by oh, by the end of the first arc, I was kind of getting meh, and but then the new arc started. I'm like, oh no, this is actually really good. Yeah, the new arc's really good. I was yeah, I'm actually just like with. I'm really surprised how much you're liking that. We'll see. We'll see how fucking far we make it. I always thought we'll it was baby's first. The only way people liked it was because of like, their first anime. Maybe we'll read all of Naruto. Who knows? Uh, all that's I know, what though, I'm planning right most... now, but I'm probably not going to spot them for it until we decide to read it together. Yep. Most people, um... Most, yeah. So most people like Naruto all the way through, I think, but most people say, like, their favorite arcs when they, when like, I, like, see people list, like, their top three favorite Naruto arcs and stuff. It's all stuff from part one, which is the first 200 or so chapters, so. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. For sure, if we read up to when Shippuden happens, which, yeah, is, like, chapter 300 or something, yeah. we'll do a po- we'll do another podcast just with a full recap, but I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. It's if good. We I'm hoping we'll to get that far. Reading. Yeah, we'll keep reading. Okay, well, fuck, I'm really... Mm, mm, I gotta wait till next week or even the week after now to find out what your next uh, choice was. Ooh, well, it might change depending me. on a certain website circumstances. That's true. That's true, yeah, now we have another week for that. Okay. All right. Cool. Cool. Long episode, but Pog. good conversation. All right, we're doing more. We're doing more, My Hero. Woohoo, Woo. hippie. Yeah. Uh, Woohoo! See you next week. Mario, go- goodbye. Mwah.